So today's lesson is about the slug. He's really cool and he's on the inside of my grill cover because my neighbor Bob just fixed my grill and you can see him leaving a slimy trail. And look, he's popping out his little eyes which are at the end of those stalks. This is how he explores. And what I'm going to do is I am going to put my finger on there and I want you to watch him withdraw his eyeballs back into his head. So keep your eye on those stalks. I can hold this steadily. See, he retracts them completely to protect them. Oh, but now they're out again. So this is a slug, not a snail. He does not have an exoskeleton. He does not have an external shell. He actually has an internal shell that we can't see. Difference between a slug and a snail? It's like the difference between snow and hail. So this guy is known as a giant garden slug. And if you look at him, let's see. I'm trying to see how long he is. He's probably about two inches long, which is about and we're gonna look at the slime trail that he's been leaving. And that slime trail is a protection device so that he can crawl over things and not get hurt. So I went inside to do some research, and this guy had traveled from the exposed part of this grill cover to the dark part. And so right now he's making his way to find darkness. And there are those eyes again. So you can tell what he is by the stripes on his back. And he's pretty cool. Let's see if I can get an idea of how long he is next to my finger now. He's as long as my index finger. <laughs> 